tutorial today is going to be about um, working with Google SketchUp Pro, or you can do this with Google SketchUp, and then doing an architectural design, and how to get a floor plan drawn out of an architectural design. So the first thing that we want to do is go architectural design, feet and inches, for our template. Okay, we have our girl standing here. We can delete the girl right away. And we're going to be doing our floor plan, so we're going to be working on the ground. So I'm going to rotate this so I can see the ground. The floor plan I'm doing right here is a fairly simple one. It's on my website um, under 8th grade handouts, 8th grade floor plan. And you can do the same floor plan if you want, or you can find one on the web. So basically what we're doing is taking these room dimensions here and turning them into rectangles. So 12 by, and this is 13 feet 8 inches. 18 by 11, 5 foot 6 by 9, 12 foot 6 by 9 foot 2. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to make those rectangles on the screen. So starting out, I'm going to do my bedroom one, 12 by 13 feet 8 inches. So I'm going to drag that out, type in 12 feet, which is the apostrophe, right next to the return key comma, 13 feet 8 inches. Inches is the quotation mark, so shift in the apostrophe. And I can just double check that. 12 feet, 13 feet 8 inches. Okay, so now I want to double click it, right click, make group. And now I can move this around to wherever I need to. My next rectangle is this bathroom, 5 foot 6 by 9 feet. So I'm going to click make a rectangle, type in 5 feet 6 inches, comma 9 feet, enter. Double click, right click, make group, and I can move it now from this corner to this corner. Now I have my bathroom put in place here. I'm starting to develop this here. Next one here, I'm going to do my kitchen. 12 foot 6 by 9 foot 2. I'm really going to say it's 9 feet again because I know it's the same width here. It's the same as this 9 feet. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. 12 feet 6 inches. I'm typing, comma, 9 foot, enter. I have to hit escape twice to get off that selection. And, oop, didn't make a group. So right click, make group. And then I can move it over to here. 18 feet by 11 feet. So I can draw a rectangle. 18 feet, comma, 11 feet feet and hit enter. And then I'm going to make a group, right click, make group, Oop. now let's make component, make group, move it into place again. Pretty good here. Now I know this here is built in, so I'm just going to draw that rectangle in from corner to corner. Triple click, make And I, I'm not going to do the front porch or the rear porch at this point. Now we have a little bit of cleanup here. One thing we need to know is closets are about 24 inches deep. Basin stairs are about 36 inches wide, or 3 feet wide, 2 feet wide. So we're just going to go for that right now. I'm going to draw another rectangle bring it over here and it's 12 feet by 3 foot 2 it says down there I'm just gonna go in here and go 12 feet by 3 feet and hit enter and it's gonna change it to the right side now if I notice here this is pretty good sized for that closet so I can probably even move this another foot so if I just click on move, 
click on this line, move it out this way, I can type one in foot and hit enter. And now that's going to give me my two feet inside here. You can see two feet four inches, that looks good there. So here's my basic outline for my house. Now I'm going to highlight everything. Right click and hit explode because I don't want it to be in groups anymore. I want it to be all individual lines. So now everything is a line separated out. Okay? Now interior walls are four inches thick. Exterior walls are six inches thick. So I'm going to go two inches in, two inches in. And then I'm going to, for my exterior walls, I'm going to go around and go four inches out. So four plus two inches in is six, and two inches in plus two inches in is four. So I'm going to delete that line out. If I look over here, there's no wall there. That's the cabinets. Okay. So I'm going to start this with, it's called offset. And I click on this center surface, bring it in, and type two inches. Same thing here. Two inches. This one can come in. Two inches. This one can come in. Two inches. This one can come in. Two inches. Now that I got all my interiors done, I want to do my exteriors. Now, to do my exteriors, if I just do an offset and I click on this in here and try to offset this out the four inches, notice it doesn't grab the whole house. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is erase out the center line in my wall. Zoom in and you just erase out those center lines on those interior walls. And now I have four inch interior walls. Now I need to do my offset for my outside. So I'm going to do offset, come to the outside edge, and you'll notice it's grabbing the whole outside edge only. And if I go two inches in, and then I have to go four inches out, that will give me my exterior six-inch wall. And then I can erase that interior line there. And get rid of all my lines inside. Now is to the part where I raise the walls. Walls are 8, 9, or 10 feet tall. You can choose that. But I want to make my walls 8 feet. So I'm going to click on this interior portion here. And here they come up. Type 8 feet and hit enter. Now I have a 3D house. So I can look inside, there's my closets, there's my bathroom in there, there's all my information that I need. Now if I look over here, I look for doorways, there's lots of doorways in here and stuff. We got to get those doorways in. So doorways, for this project, we're going to go 2 foot 4 by 6 foot 8 for all of our doors. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here. I'm just going to come about four inches off the edge, bring it up, type two feet, four inches, comma, six feet, eight inches. Hit enter. And I'm just going to push pull it through. I need to know exactly where to hit. If I push pull too far, it's going to not work. Don't push pull far enough. So I always like to go to the back edge right there. And that creates my doorway. I'm going to do the same thing all around. Here's a double doorway. So I'm going to go four foot eight. And that's the basics on how to start a house.